one thing that is interesting to think about the Super League, to think about how much uproar it's caused around the world is that in a way, what is happening in football is really the development of a long globalization process that began with the formation of the Premier League in the early 1990s. And as much as we talk on the one hand about a longing for a return to football as a more communal affair, as something that was more geographically rooted, something which you did in your community, you supported your local club. The truth is that the Pandora's box of globalization has kind of been unlocked and there is no sort of returning to this nostalgic past of small clubs. And we unfortunately do live in an era of big clubs, globalization and money in sport. So as far as what this means for the future of football, it's hard to say. It's hard to say if this is going to be the last attempts uh, from super clubs to entrench the power in the sport, if it's going to be possible to reorganize the sport so that it's more egalitarian, especially considering the fact that sport often mirrors society. And if society remains the way it is now, then the possibility of wanting to reorganize sport so that it's more equal, more just and fair are limited. So it's it's kind of, yeah, the sort of thing that leaves you in a powerless and helpless position where you're not even sure what you can do because sure, you might stop supporting one of these clubs if they don't pull out of the Super League. But then if they do pull out of the Super League, football stays the same. And the way it currently is now isn't any better. So I'm looking forward to the discussion that we have later about what the future of sport might mean. But I'm also skeptical that sport can be meaningfully transformed in a way that really changes the underlying arrangements because those underlying arrangements will still be in place so long as our society is organized around profiteering, around money and around greed. And I think when you reflect on, for example, the way globalization has changed sport, it has changed it for the better on the one hand, because I think it's a good thing that we now see teams that are, are comprised of different nationalities, different races and so on. But how do you retain sports cosmopolitanism uh, without sort of making it something that's soulless and lacks roots? So Sean is back, which I'm good to hear. Uh, I, I would guess that FIFA conspired to have Sean taken off the air because they knew that he was coming ready with the hot takes. I had um, fire. They, 